we all have some sort of problem with school. We have bullies, we have social problems, social life, and all that yada yada. From 5th grade until middle school, from high school, well, it's basically a little bit of a hellhole. But the thing is, we read a story about this boy who has to go through something that may, many of us won't be able to understand. And perhaps with this book, we can be thankful for our social struggles, because apparently it's not anything that would kill us, pretty much. Hello, fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester, and today I got this great book, Racing the Past, by Seth Deans, and well, let's get right on to it. So, this book is about a boy named Rick Gordon, whose father has been recently diseased. His father was a little bit of a drunkard bastard who beat his sons and his wife for absolutely no reason, and everyone in the Gordon family had been criminals. Except, of course, Rick Gordon, who was a good man, who, I mean, who was a good kid. He's in fifth grade, he has brains for math, but when Bugsy, a bully in seventh grade, I believe, decides to insult Rick Gordon, he is mad and he throws some punches. And Mr. Daniels says that he's gonna have to call, call Rick's mom, whose mom is very, very stressed under the current circumstances, he doesn't want to trouble her. Because of this, he makes a deal with Mr. Daniels, the principal. He says that he's going to miss Miss Reese's and miss every contact with Bugsy the bully. And he was not even going to take the bus. He was going to walk home from school, school to home. And from there, the run begins. He, at first, he runs because he has no choice. Then he starts to run as a passionate person. And he starts to realize that running is fun. And that running helps him think, and running helps him forget the past. He's very traumatized due to his father, and the only person who ever appreciated him, who was an elderly old woman, Mrs. Lois, is also has also died last year. And he's very, very lost, and he has a father. He's being insulted within the school for something that... He, that some, things, some burglaries, some crimes that were done by his family, not done by him. And he's just like really conflicted and he's getting bullied, but he's finding a way to deal with all of this by channeling it into running. And he starts to be able to beat the bus to school, which is absolutely awesome. And using running as like a utility, he starts to let go of the past and start on and race on to the future, hence why it is called Racing the Past. And there are a couple side characters such as Matt, who is Rick's little brother, who is also having very traumatizing nightmares about their old man, who apparently was pretty much the devil himself. And Matt also is going through this, and Rick is trying to keep it all together, and I believe that this book is a really heartwarming realistic fiction that isn't the typical stereotype. A stereotype because Rick gets bullied, but it's a little bit fresher than other realistic fiction books, in my opinion. I really, really enjoyed it, and I really it's so inspiring. Like, and it makes us feel like our problems, social life problems, yeah, yeah, about that. There's this guy whose dad's a literal criminal, drunken bastard, and he's being bullied at school for being the son of his of a drunken bastard, and. He can't even take the bus to school, and he's too embarrassed to eat breakfast at school because he doesn't want his friends calling him poor. I mean, that's a new level. And he starts to find his passion using running. He even meets a coach who recognizes his talent in running, and at the very end of the book, he beats the bus to school, fair and square. Bugsy can't even say anything. Because now, Rick is actually good at something, and the entire school knows him, and everyone appreciates him for being hardworking, smart, and resourceful. Of course, he gets F's in pretty much other, grade, other grades with math, but still, we don't need to talk about that, do we? Anyway, it is such a great book, highly recommended, and like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. As always, a very, very cool realistic fiction book. It isn't the typical stereotype of just growing up or whatever. It's something a little bit fresher in many, many ways. 
And that is why I recommend this book so highly. Have a great day, everyone. See you later.